Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these triangular peyote stitch earrings with Delica beads. They are easy to make and I'm providing a pattern here so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it. In fact, uh, these earrings are done with herringbone stitch and peyote stitch but if you are not familiar with these stitches don't worry because I'm explaining really easy and step by step. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also check my second channel with the fast clips and now i'm going to start with the list of the materials Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of Delica beads. Here I use earring findings. This is fire line that is 0.05 inches or 0.12 millimeters. It is set in black. I will give a link to it down there in description. By the way, you could use nylon thread if you want instead of this fire line. This is size 11 beading needle, but you could use size 10 or size 12. They will all work. Maybe 11 and 12 are better for this project. And here I have a pattern that I did and uh, I have a tutorial on how to make your own beading pattern and you'll see it here at the right corner and down there in description if you want to check it out. Now I will show you this pattern all the way here at the left corner and also uh, like this in paper during the tutorial so uh, you will be able to make this work no problem and now guys i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and i'm going to start my work from the center and you will also see it here as i said i will start it by first picking up those three beads in the center okay i will pick up those three black beads in the center Okay, just like this, and I'm going to slide down almost until the end of my work. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And I want to pull. Okay, and here I will do one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And I'm going to pull again. Okay, then what I want to do is go through the following C bead. Okay, guys, and what I should tell you is that this work is a combination of herringbone stitch and peyote stitch and if you're not familiar with those stitches or how to combine them don't worry because i'll show everything easy and slowly okay here i have two seed beads and as i'm exiting through one of those uh, black beads i'm going through the other one okay and i pull Then I want to take two more of those beautiful beads. Now I'm making the herringbone part. Again, if you're not familiar, don't worry. Everything will be explained here step by step. And here what I need to take are two more black beads. So I have two beads from each side of this triangle that I started here okay I'm doing some fixing now in my next step guys I go again through one of the newly added two beads 
and I continue with this famous herringbone stitch by adding two beads here and going as I'm exiting through one of those beads I'm going through the other one and pulling again and fixing okay and I now you see my pattern now here it's time to add the first red beads okay and you will also see it here okay now I take one red bead and I go here through the following black then what I do is that I take two more black beads again I make another row of herringbone stitch it's a really easy stitch and I take one again and I go here through the following just like this then what I do is that I take one more red bead and I go here in the following black then I take again two black beads like this another row of herringbone then again a red one okay then you know what I do I go here and start another row of herringbone and here in my next step I have the surrounding red beads around this these reds that are already there so I take one I go through this bead here I take one more go here then again the familiar step with the herringbone go here okay and you see the peyote is forming between the herring bones it is like a mosaic beading one bead is up one bead is down okay two beads to form my herring bone okay guys and I will continue this the same way I'm going to pick up two black beads go here uh, and now check my pattern for my next row and in my next row I have this green and this yellow and this green here that are next to the reds and I will show you how I'm adding them a green one go here a yellow one go here a green one go here and I'll show you faster this process until the end of this row Okay, now I have this and in my next step 
I'm adding another row of herringbone and then I will consult myself with the pattern. Okay, I'm taking the pattern and what I see is that here I have a black one, another red, another red and a black. Okay, from all the sides. So I'm taking them, a black one. And you could guess what comes here because it forms a flower and it is a red one, then another red and another black. Okay, and I will continue this faster until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this, you see how beautiful it looks. And now in my next step, um, what I do is that I add a yellow, a black, then a red, a black and a yellow. Here I need additional row of herringbone again. What I add is a yellow, a black, a red, a black. and a yellow okay and I will repeat this here and here and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video see the first row and do this okay now I need to take two black beads. I go here with another herringbone row. And if I consult with my patterns here, I have two yellows, uh, then greens, then yellows. Okay. So now first I take one yellow. I go here then I take one more yellow I go here then I take a green one go here another green go here a yellow Okay, another yellow, go here, and two black beads. Okay, and I will repeat this row, yellow, yellow, green, green, yellow, yellow, black, black, and I will continue this, and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row. And I want to make an additional row. And the difference here is that I won't add any new herringbone beads. You see how the herringbone is formed here. I won't add 
two new of those beads and the other difference is that I will add only black beads here If you work correctly, you should have eight rows of herringbone, count, counting these central two beads. Okay, and I think it's really easy. Just skip this part here without adding anything and uh, add black beads everywhere okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bead from this row okay and now i will stop up to here and i will make another element just like this i will take a new thread and a new needle and repeat all of these steps up to here Pause this video, do this, and if you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind and repeat this process and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and uh, now as I repeat these steps one more time, this is what I have. And what I want to do is with this first element is to cut my thread. Okay, uh, and how I'm going to do this. I go here in the center of my work with my thread and I just start zigzagging through all of my beads. Okay, and I do this several times and now I cut my thread. Okay, do it as many times as you can and cut your thread. And now guys, I will take my second element that I did. And here, what I want to do is make an additional row and I'll tell you why later. And with this row, as I'm exiting from this herringbone, here, what I want to do is add just one bead, not two this time, but one. In my previous row, I didn't add anything and now I'm adding one. Okay, so now in this row, I will add only black beads everywhere. Okay guys, and I will continue this. Remember here to add only one bit and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last bit from this row. And now you will see why I did this additional row, because I wanna stick together those two beads and to make a double earring okay and how i do this uh, i want to close as like a, in a zipper those beads and here as i'm exiting through this black bead what i want to do is go in the black bead from my other element and then again i'm going through a bead from this first element then through a bit from my other element and in this way they could be closed like a zipper because I did one more row the profile of those two elements matches Sorry, I went one bit more in this direction. And that is why they could be 
zipped together. And here, this one that's sticking out the most that I have in my second element, I will go through it and then I will go through this bead here, okay? Then I will continue the same way, going through one of those beads, then through the other, and through the following and in this way I will be zipping my work okay so I will continue this process and by the way a good idea is if you want you could put a bit inside your work and uh, it could become more with more volume here I didn't do this, as you may see it's flat, but if you want a volume like this, you could do it by adding a uh, bead inside. In my previous work that I did with this triangular peyote that you could see here, I added a bead inside, but it was a larger project and it was a pendant. Okay. So now I will continue and when I'm up to the last step, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I am at my last step. Okay. And what I want to do is go here in this herringbone, like this. Then I'm going through this bit that's sticking out from this side you see that I added in my last row if you remember then I'm again I'm going through this herringbone here then back one more time and again I'm exiting here at the top where I need to attach my earring finding and I'm taking it like this I take one black bead, take my earring finding, and I take one more black bead. And I go here like this, and I'm going to reinforce this part. Okay, and now as I reinforce it, okay, this will be the front part of my earring. Uh, my uh, earring finding is in this direction, so this will be the front part. And I go here at the back and I want to cut my thread the same way I showed you before. So I'm going through as many beads as I can but I try that my thread doesn't show. And then at one point, when I decide I've been enough times through my beads, I will take my scissors and I will cut my thread. Okay, and now my triangular peyote earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages mainly. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.